If you clicked on this video, if it appeared for you, was suggested, I am 100% sure that you are on the frequency to receive this message and to understand it. So if it resonates with you, please stay. I walked on the outstretched beach. To the right, the very far end of the beach, there's a man with a dog. The mist is starting to roll in. Overhead, there are cotton wool clouds, but the light is shining through and the silver on the sea. As the mist is rolling in, some lower clouds are forming over Table Mountain. There's a seagull and two oyster catchers in the water. The oyster catchers has red beaks and red legs. They are protected. Everything has meaning. At my feet, there are shells. Most of them are broken in some other way. And the, the foam from the sea is also busy sinking away in the sand, leaving patterns. Everything has meaning. But I have said before, I've quoted a Shah who says that nothing has meaning. That's the biggest gift the universe gives us. And that is true because it has no meaning. It is us who gives meaning to everything. But I got this realization. I must have realized it before, but not with such clarity. Everything is energy, as you know. Everything moves and follows the laws. It is the Lord of Canon who said that one of the bigger, biggest things we should learn is to manipulate energy. Now, if we know how to move our energy, how to direct it, we suddenly become very, very powerful. And what was revealed to me was everything has meaning. When we start to become aware, we become so enthralled, so in love with life that we start to notice more and more things. And we can train, we can train our senses to not be asleep. We can train how we focus our energy. So it is the things we give our attention to that gets importance. The more energy to give to something by the focus of your attention, the bigger it gets. Um, it's Abraham Hicks that warns, if you for longer than 17 seconds give your attention to something, it gets momentum, it's, then it's very difficult to stop it. Now, with that in mind, as we give everything meaning, look around you, observe the now and what shows up in the now and ask yourself what does this mean why is this here how is that connected suddenly you will find that a new world opens for you when you focus your energy your awareness on the things around you when you give your attention to it you start to really see its essence you can you will find that you start to pick up the energy. It is not so much that you see with these two eyes of yours, with your and pick up of your senses the things around you, but you start to see with your spirit. You start to feel the energy more. That is why you can walk like I walked down the beach, and at some point the energy changed so much that I had to stop and turn around. The same goes with interaction with people. Before they say something, if you direct your energy to them with full awareness, you can pick up on their energy and know what to do and how to act and um, respond to them. But what came to my awareness was if I'm fully present and give my attention fully to the present moment, to what I'm observing, I can pick up truths about the thing that I observe that I did not know I have the knowledge of, but it is on a metaphysical level. 
it is as if you energetically can understand more about the object that you are observing. So if we focus our full attention on something, we tap into the field, we tap into the collective consciousness that has observed this before us or at the same time that we are observing it. So we have the access to this knowledge that the rest of the collective have. It might not be a knowledge that you can um, put in words, but it is a knowing that it is a knowledge on the energetic level. So as you start to observe your reality like this, but with a curiosity, almost like that of a child, if we start to observe like this, it is then when we start to pick up the clues from the universe, it is then when navigating life becomes like a game where you can level up, where you can go on side quests, because all the clues are there, everything has meaning. And it is up to you to either miss all of these clues in which the universe communicates with you or to tap into that. And the universe will speak directly to you through your spirit. You must learn to trust yourself. You must learn to know this is right. Don't be so... Don't be so... Uh, unsure. Don't play into the system that tells you somebody else has to tell you this or decide for you or map things out for you or that this is the right way or the wrong way. You have to be honest to yourself. That is the only prerequisite. Pre the prerequisite is to be honest. But if you are honest and you just observe not with this mind of yours that tries to analyze things. So it is through the senses, through the direction of our energy, looking at things without a judgment of or your own ideas. Uh, when you observe it like that, then you ask yourself, what does that mean for you? What is it? Sh why is it showing up in your reality? Why did you attract it in everything around you? And every second, there can be a meaning for you if you only tap into that. So you, you have also to have discernment to decide what is going to get my attention, what is going to what am I going to give my energy. But when you realize that, you will quickly realize that it is of no use to give your energy to negative people or situations or to problems that do not exist already to to a imagined future or a remembered past. But you will quickly learn that this moment is the perfect moment. I trust you found value in the video. I wish you a wonderful rest of the weekend if you're listening to the video on the weekend. If you're new to the channel, you are very welcome and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And I'm sending you my infinite love till I speak to you again in the next video. Goodbye.